Peace fam, it's the Pressure Cooker. I'm back with another video. In this video, I want to talk about nightmare spots for empaths, such as Walmart, thrift stores, and consignment shops. Um, so if you have ever, if you're an empath, I would love to hear from you below um, after I share my thoughts and my commentary, um, because I want to know if this happens to other people as well. So for years, I hated thrift stores. Um, at first, I thought it was because I was being extra and I didn't want secondhand stuff, which isn't necessarily true because I've gotten secondhand things growing up. But thrift stores are a different element. And it's like, you know, you don't know where they're coming from. And then I realized over the years that I hated thrift stores because I'm an empath, right? Like there's so much residual energy because it's so many people's stuff in one place and sometimes it's really good, right? Sometimes it's a middle of the ground energy. And a lot of times it's like, eh, it just, it's just too much going on for me personally. Um, it feels very messy. It can feel very overwhelming. Sometimes I feel like my head literally is spinning depending on, you know, how and when I go into a thrift store. So over the years, I've learned to uh, kind of shield myself i've talked about this in other videos like mentally prepare myself before i go into places like this if i need to go um so that i can <laughs> survive the trip or enjoy the trip and so i've gotten better at going into thrift stores and the cool thing about being an empath is it does kind of help you to avoid certain things whether you're consciously thinking about it or not because we're constantly kind of reading energy at least that's how i feel a lot of times um, so thrift stores I could do, consignment shops I could do, um, but I tell you what, I always sage anything that I take home from a thrift store, I always sage it, right? I, uh, whatever items I buy, that's just me personally. I don't know where it's coming from. And so I just like pass some sage smoke over it. And then I, you know, then I use it as I would, but that's what I do. That's one of the, uh, another thing that I use in terms of Walmart. I don't know if this happens to other empaths. This might just be other people in general, but Walmart, I fucking hate Walmart. I avoid Walmart like the plague, not just for political reasons, because I think they put a lot of small businesses out of business and there's just a whole bunch of other stuff that goes with it. But there is something about Walmarts and the energy in Walmart. And I've been in Walmarts in different states. I've been in Walmarts in different countries. When I tell you it's the same energy, I don't, I can't label it, but I don't like it. I go into Walmart. If I don't have a list, <laughs> I ain't going. Okay. It's usually I'm getting like one special item, um, that I can't get in the other places that I shop because there's just, I don't really need to go there. That's just me. You know, no shade to you. If you go to Walmart, that's just the, my relationship with Walmart. I don't like it. And not only for, like I said, for the initial reasons, but it, it has a certain energy to it. And I find it very strange and I can't figure it out. Um, you know, I also think Walmart kind of attracts such a unique, but also like weird group of people. I don't know if it's just because there's just so much going on. There's so many different types of people, but I can't deal with it. I just can't. So I go in and I get out quickly. And so those are the three places that I notice that is very hard for me to handle energetically. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. If you're an empath, if you are a uh, intuitive person, or you're just like, child, this is just being part of being an introvert. But anyway, guys, I hope you're having a good day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.